Jesus is helping me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I believe his light can shine through me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus bunch of painted rocks and they buried them in the sand for me to find. I already found this heart rock which reminds me that we can love everybody. I can't wait to see which rock we find next. Can you help me dig? Hold up your hands. Now pretend to dig in the sand with me. Dig, dig, dig. Oh! Great digging! We found a brand new rock. It has two hands. What are they doing? You're right! They're giving a high five! Can you pretend to give me a high five? Ready, set, high five! I love that my friends made this awesome game for me. I have such great friends. Like this one time, I was feeling really sad. Then my friends made me a card to cheer me up. And another time, I was really hungry. And I didn't have anything to eat. I needed a snack. Then my friend shared his cheese sandwich and orange with me, and I wasn't hungry anymore. I am so glad I have such good friends. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Hunting for treasure in the sand, are you? Hi, Ollie. My friends had this super fun game for me in the sand. They're so great. Friends are important. It's true. I know about some other good friends, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, 
Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I am so tired today. But delivering mail is my job. So I'm going to do what I said I would do. That's being faithful. And that's what today's story is all about. If you're ready for it, I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox. Our true story from the Bible is about two friends. This is David and his good friend Jonathan. A long time ago, these good friends had to say goodbye to each other. It was very hard. They promised to always be friends, and then they said goodbye. Everybody wave. Later, David became the king. He remembered his promise to his good friend Jonathan that he would always be a good friend. David wanted to be faithful to the promise he made to his friend Jonathan. So he decided to look for anyone in Jonathan's family that he could show kindness to. It was a very big job because he didn't know where Jonathan's family was. David sent lots of people to help him find Jonathan's family. When the people came back, they had found someone from Jonathan's family. It was his son. His name was Mephibosheth. He couldn't walk, and he needed someone to help him. King David wanted to be faithful to his friend, Jonathan, so he chose to show kindness to Jonathan's son. He had Mephibosheth brought to the castle. King David gave Mephibosheth lots of land. He gave him a place to live and people to help take care of him. And David made sure Mephibosheth always got to eat at the king's table. From that day on, King David was faithful to his friend, Jonathan, and took care of Mephibosheth. How great is that? David was a faithful friend. Jesus can help us choose to be faithful too. Jesus can help us do everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. David was a faithful friend to Jonathan. And we can be faithful to our friends, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow! David made a promise to Jonathan and was faithful and kept it. Jesus can help me to be a faithful friend, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I love that high fives can remind me to be a faithful friend. High five, friend. I'll see you next time. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. <laughs>